Hey there, welcome to Proud Animator. In this lesson, we are going to animate this bicycle rider in front view. So, this is a very easy to do animation. Even if you are a beginner in After Effects, you can do it all by yourself. Just follow along with the lesson till the end. So, I have already made a tutorial on how to animate a bicycle rider in side view. So, go check out if you want to learn how to animate it. And let's proceed with this lesson. Before jumping on to After Effects, let's check out how to separate the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. So here is the illustration we are going to use for our animation in this lesson. So I have separated the whole glass layer uh, the character is wearing in a single layer and there is a reflection that has been separated and it's in a single separate layer. And even the whole face layer is in a single separate layer. The neck is, is another separate layer. And this collar is also in another separate layer. Even the shoulder portion because it is going to rotate because when it's in front view, the shoulder actually slightly moves up and down. Even the neck does, does the same. Even the arms will move. Forearm will also move independently, even the hand. So all of them are in a separate layer. So that is how I have divided the layers in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, separated it in such a way that the layers which I need to animate independently, we need to keep that particular shapes in a separate layer so that we can animate them in After Effects. Even this one as well, we need to animate the whole thing together. So we have just now put everything in a single layer even for this one as well and this one as well in a separate layer and this one as well. So that is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump on to After Effects and proceed with our animation. So right now we are inside of After Effects and here our first job is to rig the arms. So for that I'm going to select the arm layers, arm 1, forearm 1 and hand 1 and let's solo it up and turn on the Dwig Bezier plugin and click over here in rigging and then again in the create structure and create arm structure by clicking over here and I'm going to select the structure layer and pull it and put it over here and let's put the structure layer above its corresponding layers so arm layer over the arm layer forearm over the forearm and hand over the hand and I'm going to put the arm tip somewhere around here perfect so right now I'm going to parent arm to arm one with the arm structure forearm with the forearm structure hand with the hand structure and just select all the structure layer and rig it so i'm just have just clicked on art rig and it rigged automatically and let's select the arm and parent it with the shoulder layer so let's unsolo it and check it out so when we are going to move the shoulder the arm should move together that's why right now we don't need to see it anymore let's Turn off the visibility and shy it out. For that, just click over here and turn on this one. Even this controller as well, we don't need to see it. And we are going to do the same for the other side of the hand as well. So let's do that. Okay, so the arm layers are rigged. Now we are going to animate the wheel. So for that, first of all, select this wheel stripe and wheel. And I'm going to just pre-comp it. And let's name it wheel. Perfect. So I'm going to turn on the rasterize and let's put the anchor point over here. Okay, let's go inside the composition. And here we are going to change the blending mode to overlay for this wheel stripe and let's copy and paste it again and I'm going to put this particular one and match it with this one so I'm going to add a ruler over here so what we are going to do is we are going to move it in X axis so it will look like the wheel is rotating so we are going to parent this one with this one and then we are going to open the position property and only animate it in Y axis. Now I'm going to jump on to next 
let's say 10 frames and I'm going to move this one and I'm going to match this line this particular ruler perfect and right now we can add the loop expression it will loop automatically so the loop expression is loop in plus loop out minus the value perfect now we are going to copy this two times this will layer put one above one strip another one above the other strip and we are going to just use this one as an alpha mat perfect so let's turn on the the motion blur and let's check our animation I think we can slow it down a bit and uh, let's check it it's looking perfect all right so here the job is done now we are going to also animate the animate this reflection in a same in the same way so for that first of all select this glass mat to the face so we are going to select all the layers of the head and just pre-comp it and let's name it head. Now let's move the anchor point to somewhere around here. From this particular point it should rotate. Now let's open up the composition window. Now we are going to again change the blending mode of the reflection layer and give it overlay. Now we are going to move in Y X axis this time. So open the position property. Now let's jump on to next let's say 40 frames or something like that. Yeah 40 frames is enough. So reflection should move a bit slower and I'm going to move it in the opposite side. Uh, let's copy this loop expression and paste it over here. Perfect. Now we are going to use this glass mat as a track mat now let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice let's increase this resolution to full it's looking pretty nice okay so our job over here is also done now before starting the animation of the fit let's parent few of the things so such as let's just move the anchor point of this particular layer over here and for the shoulder we are going to animate parent the shoulder with the body and body with the hip and for this leg we are going to parent this leg back side with the actual leg and then this pant portion this blue color one with this leg back and also we are going to keep this like this like that only but we are going to move the anchor point of this paddle something somewhere around here now for the leg of the other side everything is connected together because we are going to animate only one side of the leg and then just copy the copy it and reflect it for the other side so we don't need to animate it two times so let's start with one so for that we are going to it's going to move in x-axis so let's put a position keyframe over here same with this one and this one as well okay now we are going to jump on to next let's say 11 frame now if the timing doesn't look that good we can change it later on so let's start with 11 frames and we are going to also add a ruler and put a ruler over here so that we can just keep in track and keep a reference and also we are going to move this leg backside downwards and also this pant as well perfect and right now it will again go down so i'm going to jump onto next 11 frame and copy the initial frames uh, let's easy is out so let's check our animation first I think we can slow it down a bit so let's jump on to next 15 frames and let's move it slightly again let's jump on to 15 frames and let's move this one over here and let's check out our animation 
yeah this one is looking much better now what we are going to do is we are going to select all these three layers now yeah we are going to animate the paddle as well even though it's not uh, visible over here but somewhere uh, if it doesn't uh, if we just turn off the visibility this part of the see this part will look a bit weird so we need to add it so we are going to open the scale property and also put a keyframe over here now at this particular point we are going to just animate the y-axis of the skill so we are going to reverse it like this and we are going to copy the initial position over here so let's easy is it uh, let's check our animation again perfect now we are going to select all the layers of this leg and uh, let's pre-comp it and give it give a name leg one now we are going to let's move the anchor point and put it over here and uh, turn on the rasterize and let's copy it and name it leg two okay now we are going to match it with the with this leg so let's first of all right click on it transform and flip it horizontally and we are going to put it over here okay one more thing uh let's delete this layer we need to add a loop expression to this one so for that we are going to open the time remapping and put a keyframe over here and again put a keyframe at the end and just delete the keyframe at the end of the timeline and we are going to copy the loop expression from where here and just paste it over here okay now let's copy it and just rename it leg 2 and select and solo it out and just flip it horizontally perfect and i'm going to put it over here and i'm going to offset it by 15 frames so we are going to jump on to plus 15 and let's move the keyframes over here now just unsolo the layers and let's check our animation okay so delete the leg reference yeah it's looking pretty nice already so right now we are going to animate the shoulder body neck and the head so for that we can select all the layers and just deselect body shoulder collar neck and head and let's skip a uh, leg layer and shy out all the other layers because we, are, we only need to see these layers only so first of all select the shoulder and the body and open the position property as well as the rotation property and put a keyframe and i'm going to jump on to next 15 frames put the keyframe over here as well and again in the next 15 frames put the keyframes so now again i'm going to jump on to next 7 frame and again put keyframes over here and again next seven frames and put keyframes over here okay so this is a neutral pose and this is where at this particular point the shoulder portion will come down the body will dip a bit and same with the body as well we are going to select it and move it down perfect now we are going to select this to this each of these corner keyframes and let's move it I mean rotate it around minus two degrees or i think we can just give it minus one degree for this one and minus two degrees for the shoulder and at this point it will be plus two let's easy ease all these keyframes let's check out our animation okay we needed to parent this neck with this collar with this neck this neck with the shoulder and the head with the neck yeah it's looking pretty nice already and right now we are going to do the same with the neck and the head as well open the position property and put a keyframe in each of these times where the where there is a keyframe in shoulder perfect so we are going to select the neck and let's uh, select the neck and the collar and all of this actually so we are going to pull it down 
so at this point we can just copy the initial keyframes and we are going to do the same over here as well copy the initial keyframes perfect and let's easy is out and let's check our animation yeah it's looking perfect so our animation is done actually uh, almost and the only thing that left is we can slightly offset the keyframes so we are going to first of all put the loop expression to all these properties with keyframes and then offset it so we are going to start with the body and also offset the rotation slightly and offset the shoulder from the body a bit the neck collar and head from the shoulder as well and the head from the neck as well okay now let's check our whole animation perfect so that is how you can animate a bicycle rider in front view now you can even go further you can even add some rotation to it so for that it's very simple let's just pre-comp everything in this composition window and you will get this one and i'm going to put the the anchor point of this key uh, of this composition at this particular point so this is from where it will rotate so open up the rotation property and we are going to match the timing with the leg so we are going to just open the leg property and le at this particular point let's rotate it in this direction to around minus 3 and let's jump on to minus 15 and rotate it in the opposite side and jump on to minus plus 15 frames again and copy the initial keyframe let's easy is it and i'm going to copy the loop expression and paste it over here and let's offset it as well by two or three frames and let's check our animation yeah it's looking perfect so that is how you can animate a bicycle rider in front view so if you if you want to just uh, animate it in side view go check out the link in the description you will get get to see learn how to animate a bicycle rider in side view as well so if you have any doubt regarding animation after in after effects or whole motion design itself do comment down below i will be happy to help you out so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye